Hi there. In this demo, I'm going to walk you through what Stable Pixel looks like and how it works for designers who are working in Figma. So essentially, Stable Pixel allows you to design with image assets that are created with AI. So typically, you'd have to go to some website or all the, to get like royalty or stock images that you would pay some licensing for. But right now, you can generate images directly within Figma for your projects without having to go anywhere, right? So head over to stablepixel.com. If you are not already there, the first thing you need to do is click on use Figma plugin. So this will take you to the Figma community where the plugin is hosted. You can see some more information about it. All you need to do is click on try it out. Um, and to try it out, it will open a board. So let's say we're designing, let's say we're designing, I'm gonna click on run to run the plugin. But let's say we're designing a mobile application where we're basically selling like toys for kids. And in this case, um we want to add some images for those um sample uh, products that would be on the design without having to pay for those now what you would simply do here is come here and say you need image of a huge whatever toy you like i'm gonna go with teddy because um, that's a good firm um huge teddy on a plain gray background and you simply generate that. So you can wait, um, takes a couple of seconds, and then you get some resp response or some suggestions. Now, in subsequent versions, you'll be able to generate more than one image at a time. Right now, you can just generate one output, which means, which means it's gonna give us one suggestion and we can regenerate and ask for more if we want that. We want more suggestions, so I'm gonna go to re regenerate. because I can see this is a good image, but I can see the eyes of the teddy are kind of wet. We have another one, and then I can go with maybe one more, let's see. Sometimes to get more quality responses, you have to put in as much detail as possible. So you can put in details such like, such as the color of the teddy, yellow teddy on a gray background on the floor, you can be specific. So I'm gonna go with this in this case, and once I click on it, it adds it directly to my Figma board, which means I can now use that in my design. So I'm gonna go to iPhone 14 Pro, I can basically put this here, stretch it out, as much as I like, and basically, yeah, keep on designing. Okay, that's pretty much it. That's what Stable Pixel does for you. Um, and I'm looking forward to adding more features over time, but if you have any feedback based off this, as you, there's something you would want to be able to do with this that you cannot correctly do, head over to the website and you'll find my Twitter handle on the bottom right corner of it where you can share whatever your concerns are with me. Thanks for watching.